to computational science YouTube channel. This is the, the physics uh, practical section. In physics practical section, we are uh, going to see uh, some practical related to for the fresh students uh, uh, respect to physics. So from this today, we are going to see uh, how to measure uh, length, mass, and the volume of uh, different materials using different uh, apparatus. So to measure uh, uh, the, the mass, volume, and the, uh, <coughs> density of the materials. So first, uh, when we are measuring the volume of the particle or to measure the density of the, uh, an object, first we are measuring its masses. So to measure the mass of uh, an object, we are using uh, triple beam balances. Triple beam balances, these triple beam balances uh, it have three scales. The first scale, as you are seeing from this, this is a panel uh, or the plates where, where, when the apparatus that are measured can be put under these places. This have three scales. The first scale is measured until 10 grams. This is move just like this. The se second one is around uh, 500 grams, major around uh, up to 500 gram. We are moving in just like this. The third one is measured in up to 100 grams. We are moving in just like this. Then when we are measuring using this uh, triple beam balance, we are seeing these uh, arrows. This arrow shows us the grams that can be measured. The gram that can be measured. So first of all, before using this apparatus, uh, most students when, or the persons that can be using this apparatus can be check whether the apparatus can be found this, uh, in the equilibrium position or not, or whether this apparatus can be done or not. So this apparatus can be make major accuracies whether the line of this zero and the line of this can be overlapping just like this. If these two lines, the white line uh, that can be shows this, uh, uh, parallel or, or overlap with zero, this uh, uh, apparatus can be, this price is uh, <coughs> fine. So it's just like this. You see here, this can be measuring fine. So if somebody can be, wants to measure the apparatus, for example, if you are want to measure these rectangular blocks, this is the rectangular blocks that we are measuring for uh, samples. So as you are seeing from this, this is the lengths, the lengths of the rectangular block. If you are putting in just like this, this is the height, this is the width for these rectangular blocks. So first, let us measure the mass of this rectangular block. So we are put this rectangular block on the plate. Then, when you are putting here, let us move the first scales. This is the first scale. So doesn't sense it, then you are make back this because the uh, object that we are putting in the plate is greater than 10 grams. Let us move the second ones. The second one also have greater than 100 grams. So let us back the second ones and let us move this uh, the third one. So now when we are using this 200 gram, it is not. It is. Uh, the amount, the mass of the objects we are putting here is not 200. Let us back into 100 and move the uh, third uh, measuring scales. Let us move. It is greater than 110. Now it is greater than 120 scale. It is greater than. Then we are moving just like this. Now, here from this, this 100, from this, this 80, let us move the third one, the third one. So by adding all these scales, that means from the first, from here we have two, from here we have 80, from here we have 100. When we are adding this all together, is 182. Here 100, here we have 80, here we have 2. The mass of this uh, the block is mass of block is equal with 182 gram.
182 grams so you are using in just like this you are major for all what you want is for objects so this is for the triple beam balance if you have the electronic balances that can be done in the electric or they are using in the charge so this is better this is analog we have the uh, digital one so we are measuring the mass of an object in just like this so this mass is can be indicated to 182 gram so we are changing in kilogram when are then the volume and the densities so depending on this this is how to measuring the mass of an object is using the triple beam balances there are different types of measuring apparatus this is for analog for digital balances you are using in different ways so let us proceed to measure how to measure the length of the an object is uh, using different apparatus let, let us proceed to that an apparatus that we are using for measuring uh, the different uh, or the length of an object is in just like this let us use a meter stick as you know that this is a meter stick this is an apparatus what you are familiar with this from starting from the uh, lower grades you are using meter stick but you are familiar with this depending on this ways so as you know that, that metric stick have, have different uh, lengths this can be measured uh, around 50 centimeters this can be prepared uh, to measure 50 centimeters for each measurement is, or the least one measurement for this metric stick is 0 0.1 centimeters uh, that is uh, around 0 0.1 centimeters is. so to measure uh, the length of the blocks is, the length of the block uh, uh, we are putting in just like this if you want us to measure from this to here we are putting the meter stick on the uh, objects that can be measured then from this expression we are seeing from zero here starting from the tip of the uh, blocks we are put zero then here we are taking here each each measurement is the small division is 0 0.1 then depending on that is, we are count the least one so if we are seeing from this this is zero is here as you are seeing from this this is zero is here then from this we are going to here the tip of this is around this is 90 this is 90.1 90.2 90.3 90 this is 90.4 this is 90.6 the last one is 90.7 it's around 90.7 seven this is the 90.7 so the mass or the length of the block here from this if you this is our data this is data table for rectangular block if this is rectangular blocks for this uh, this is number of trial this is this is mass the mass of the particle we are measure here 182 gram this is the mass is 180 gram length is length of the uh, rectangular block using a ruler this is a ruler so when you are measure we get that one nine point seven centimeter this is, this is in centimeter now the second step is uh, measure uh, the length of uh, rectangular block using vernal caliper so uh, vernal <coughs> The length of the rectangular block using ruler is around 90.7 cm. Using vernal caliper, vernal caliper is this apparatus, this apparatus. So our vernal caliper is doesn't measure the length of this because the amount of the rectangular block and the, the amount or the capacity of this uh, vernal caliper measuring is not much due to this. This is can be only measured its length, uh, it is uh, height and its width. So uh, according to this material is vernal caliper so vernal caliper is can be used for uh, different purposes so if you want us to measure the internal part of an object is internal part of an object is you are putting between these two jaws this is the jaw of vernal caliper vernal caliper have two jaws if you want to measure the uh, length of or the width or the uh, height of some object is you are putting between two jaws so another one is if you want uh, want to me measure the width or the length of internal part of an object you are putting into jaws between these this is for external this is for internal one 
if you want to measure the internal one you are putting between this the third one is if you want to measure the depths the depths of an object you are using just like this this is for external this is for internal this is, this is for the depths of an object if you want this you are putting just like this uh, the, the third one is here what, what we are seeing is this is vernal caliper have the main scale and the vernal scale the main scale means the main scale means this from 0 to 50 centimeter it can be measured between 0 to 50 centimeter this is the capacity of this material can be measured from 0 to 50 centimeter this is the main one this is main this one is the vernal scale this is vernal scale this is vernal scale in the main scale the below one can be written in centimeter the upper one can be written in the inches if you are reading in the blue ones, this is can be the, the bottom one can be indicated the centimeter. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 50 is it can be indicated in centimeter. Here from the vernal scale, the vernal scale means what you are seeing from this. This is vernal scale. This is vernal scale. From the vernal scale, we have 0 to 9. This indicates uh, the decimal that com come after the main scales. The main scale. Everybody must understand from the uh, when you are using the vernal scale, when the vernal scale used, the main scale and the vernal scale must be overlapped here. You, you are seeing the here 0 and this 0 is overlapped before measuring. This zero of main scale and the zero of vernal scale is overlap when the vernal uh, jaws can be attached here. Or before measuring uh, any objects, we are check whether these apparatus can be done or not, or in equilibrium, you are check zero and the zeros when you are using this. So, because of this, this vernal scale can be measured with height, uh, one what you want. So, let us proceed to the our data from this length of this, uh, the rectangular block is greater than this. Let us proceed to the width, the width of this rectangular block, the width of rectangular, rectangular block. If we have holds this rectangular block is as just like this, this from this to this is can be this height from this to this is height from this to this is height uh, from this to this is length from to this is height this is the width if you are holding just like this so from this to this we are measuring the uh, length is 90.7 using uh, rulers let us find uh, measure width the width is width using stick which means if you are hold just like this with this from point to these points let us measure these points this point means you are check this zero is here then zero one two around three points one each individual measurement is zero point one then this measurement of this is around three point two 3.2 centimeter 3.2 centimeter 3.2 centimeter using what using uh, ruler the second one is using vernal scale vernal caliper is this then you are put the external part of to measure the external part of the our block we are using this jaws we are insert the rectangular block between these two jaws Yes, as you are seeing from this, you are putting in just like this. So you are put here. Then we are count from this expression. This is zero, then one, two, three, three. Then here, zero of the vernal scale uh, is come here. Then you are count from the main scale up to zero. You are counting from this main scale to zero of vernal scale. So from this, from this here we have 3, this is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, so continue just like this. But we are count until the 0 of vernal caliper is come. So 0, 1, 2, 3 here, 3.1, 1, 3 uh, 3.1, 3.2, 3 3.3. So 0 of vernal scale is come between 3.3 .3 and 3.4 of main scale. So when it's coming just like this, you are take us just like this. So you are put here 
point three. This is the main scale. Then to count the number of that coming between the decimal of this number, you are going to see the vernal scale that can be overlap with the main scale. The vernal scale and from zero to nine, in which line the main scale and the vernal scale can be overlaps. Let us find together. This is around zero. It is not overlap. The main scale and yes, zero is not overlap with some lines that can come from the main scale. When we are going to see one is not overlap. Uh, then when we are going to two. Yes, it's not overlap. When you are going to three, it's not overlap. So you have to check from zero to nine in which line the line of the main scale and the nine of the vernal scale are overlap, or which line can be closer. If it's not overlap, which line can be much closer to the vernal scale and the main scale can be uh, overlap in what in which scale? Zero is not one. Two, three, four, around five. For more check, let us see. Around five, let us check number five here. The five is more closer to the line that can be uh, in the main scale from zero to nine. Let us check from this all, the five is more closer. So you are add 3.3 is the main one, then you are add the decimal uh, points between uh, after threes. So 3.35 centimeter, 3.35 centimeter is the width of the uh, rectangular block. 3.3 is from the main scale, plus you are taking 0.05 centimeter. This is from the vernal scale. This is from the main scale. Then you are put here in the data, 3.35 centimeter. This is for the wheels. The second one is, the third one is height. If you are measuring the height, if you are hold our block in just like this, this is the height. Let us measure the height using ruler. Ruler. Height means it is height from this to this. If you are measure the height. Our major height it is around five point five. Around five point five. It's five point five. Five point five centimeter. Then height in vernal caliper. Vernal caliper is this. Then you are put the height between this. You are put between two. Uh, Joseph, you are put between these two jaws. Now, the same as the wheels, we are counts in the main scale and the vernal scale. The main scale is zero, one, two, until zero. Until zero of the vernal scale. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Then zero is time. This is 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4. .5. This is 5.5. This is 0.6. Zero is comes between 5.6 and 5.7. Seven. So you are take 5.6 is from the main scale. Then plus you are found in which line that comes the main, the vernal scale overlap with the uh, uh, main scale. In zero it is not overlap actually. The one it is more closest in one. In two is not. Three you are check. Around one, as I think, or it's closer from line.
Actually, uh, it is point 0.1. It's point 0.1. So we are taking here 5.6, 5.61 centimeter or plus 0 0.01. So this is around 5.61 centimeter. 5.61 centimeter. 5.1 centimeter. This is the first trial. It's just like this. You are continue. You are try three or four times. You are trying just like this because when you are trying again, 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 and again, the amount of error may be decreases. The random error can be decreased in just like this. As you know that there are different types of errors. As a general, we have uh, two types of error, random error and uh, systematic error. Random error is the error that can be made high or too low, whether it's positive or negative. That means this is uh, the ways of scam of this uh, random error is unknown. This is the scam due to chances that doesn't denounce the, these types of error scams because these types of error may be, uh, occurs when you are measuring. But by taking the number of, by increasing the number of observation, we are decrease the random errors. The second one is systematic error. Systematic error can be decreased by uh, different uh, arrangements. The first one is by uh, adjustment of the instruments, by knowing how to measuring the instruments or by knowing how that apparatus can be done. And by some modification, the instruments or by uh, make suitable the environment, the systematic uh, error may be resolved. But to decrease the random error or to uh, isolate the Error that comes due to the random error, we are using take the increasing the number of observations. As our example, we are taking one uh, measurement, but when you are practicing, you are take more than three, at least more than three or four uh, uh, measurements. So this is for rectangular block. Let us proceed into the second one, measuring for the. So by taking the num by increasing number of uh, measurements, we are uh, have just like this data. This is the mass of an object. So we are taking the mass as a constant. But when we are measuring, we are taking three measurements for rulers: 90.7, 90.6, 90.6. This is due to measuring. This when we are measuring. This so you are done in groups this is due to that. So when you are measuring, some fluctuation must be occurred due to that. This is some decimal changes for all i have just have this when we are measuring make some differences must occur because uh, uh, isolating error is uh, or uncertainty may occur in all measurements or all measurements or anybody have uncertain due to this we have just like this for rectangular block let us proceed for the cylindrical uh, shapes materials so for in cylindrical shapes materials uh, if this data we are taking for rectangular block, how we can using the how we can measure lengths, widths, and heights. Then from this, uh, we are uh, calculate the volume. Volume is equal to widths times height times lengths for the rectangular sh shape. We are using this expression and we are measure. Here we have the masses. Then density is given by mass over volume. We are taking the average mass here. We have the uh, volume here volume means length times width times height we are using different apparatus based on this expression you are taking for uh, ruler in once and you are taking vernal caliper in another expression so this is the formula when you are using the for rectangular block when you are proceed to cylindrical shapes materials for cylindrical shapes material means the material have just like this shapes to have lengths and to have widths so is have lengths and widths so to measure the uh, lengths and the widths we are using uh, uh, lengths for ruler and the vernal caliper for ruler and the vernal caliper the mass the mass of this particle is simply you are putting the masses uh, on uh, beam balances on the beam balances and you are measure the mass of this uh, materials so here we have beam balances here we have beam balances then we are proceed with this there. So when you are putting the uh, cylindrical shape uh, materials on these plates and you are measure its masses using the beam balances or we are using another material, this is electronic beam balance.
This is electronic balances. If you want us to uh, measure, this is analog one, this is digital one. This is displays in numbers in the analog, analog one, but we are measuring uh, the changing by changing this scale, we are measure the amount of this particle. So for this object, let us put here. When you are putting here from this analog, its weight is around 0 0.02 kilograms. That means it is around 20 grams. It is 20 grams. This is electronic balance. This is the uh, triple beam balance. This is analog. This is digital. Digital one. You are use different types of materials when you are measuring based on uh, this arrangement. So we are put here. This is 20 gram. 20 grams. So the second one is length by ruler and the banal caliper. Length of this. Length means for this. For this rectangle, uh, for cylindrical shape, from this to this is this is length. This is width. This width. So to measure this length, first you are using the meter stick. Meter stick. It is actually three centimeter. Three centimeter. Is three centimeter. Using vernal caliper, using vernal caliper, you are put between two jaws. You are putting between two jaws of vernal caliper. You are putting between these two jaws, just like this. Then let us count here. This is zero. One, two, three. Zero is come after three. So you are take three points. Then zero is come between three and three point one. So we can say that three point zero. Then you are find the number that can be overlap. The number overlap is actually. There are actually around around nine. So from this, uh, zero and three is overlap. Here, you get this. The number of vernal scale zero and uh, three on the vernal uh, the micro uh, the uh, main scale of vernal caliper is overlap. So due to this, it is around three. This is three centimeter. It's equal three centimeter. This length is the diameter using the the diameter of this particle. It can be difficult to measure using this meter stick to measure the diameter of this or the uh, radius of this or diameter of this it can be difficult using the meter stick due to this we are not use meter stick so in the presence of these materials we are used micro caliper you know this micro caliper is separatus just like this this micro caliper this micro caliper this ca micro caliper is have the, the part of this is can be unable this part of the uh, micro caliper is called unable this is fixed, doesn't move from this original position. This is known to move. This is unable. This is spindle. This is a movement. This is a movable one. This is the movable one. This, this micro caliper can be measured from 0 to 25 millimeter. The apparatus the, or the object is inserting between this is until 25 centimeter. The maximum is this. The smallest division of this apparatus can be measured is around 0 0.01 millimeters. As we can say that for meter stick, it's around 0 0.1. For uh, uh, vernal caliper, it is around 0 0.02. For micro caliper, it is around 0 0.01. So, this as just like vernal caliper, this micro caliper have two scale. This is the main scale, 0, 5, 10, then 0, 5, 10, continue until 25, 50. This is the main scale. This is a circular scale. This circular scale, 10, 50, this is fifth scale. This is the circular scale, circular scale, or this is these temples. So we call this is temples. 
This is one is ratchet knob. Ratchet knob. This is ratchet no knobs. This is a part of the uh, micro calipers. So in this part of uh, micro calipers, let us measure the diameter of the cylindrical shape. You are insert between this. You are insert between a navel and spindle. Then you can move all these uh, ratchets and the timbers just like this. When you are moving. Yes, it's just like this. Now we are inserted between this and just like this. So from these two points of the main and the vernal scale, uh, the uh, circular scale, first you can take the main scale. The main scale means 0, 5, then this is 10. So from this, this is 5 points. This is one, each point is 0 0.2. This is... 0, this is 0 0.2, 0, it's continue just 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and it's continue just like this. So this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, it's 9. The last line that can be shown is 10. So because of this, you are take, you take here 10. 10 of main scale, this main scale plus Ten of many scale, then you are can take the lines that can be overlap with the vernal scale. This is the line, this line and the line of the circular shape in which line it can be overlap. So this is forty, this is forty one, this is forty two. The forty two is can be overlap with this line. So we can take this forty two divided by one hundred milliliter millimeter. So this is the, the main one. This is can be the vernal one. Ten plus if you are divide forty two divided by this, this is around zero point four two. This is equal with around ten point four two millimeter. This is the uh, uh, diameter. The diameter of the uh, cylindrical shape. The diameter of cylindrical shape. Then the diameter using micro caliper is around ten point four two millimeter or you can change in this centimeter so the second one is using vernal caliper let us use vernal caliper this is vernal caliper you are insert between this you can insert between two jaws this is vernal caliper so we are re let us read the uh, vernal caliper here this is zero this is 0 0.5670 0 is come until 1 between 1 and 1.1 .1. so you can take that you can take that is meter centimeter plus this is the main one for this then let us find the number that can be found on the vernal end the main in which can be overlap 0 So from this, uh, this is 1, 0 is come between 1.1 1 .1 and 0 0.1, 1.1. 1 .1. So this is 1. From this number, this overlap under 1. So we can take that 1 plus 0 0.01. This equal is 1.01 uh, .01 centimeter, as I think. I have just like this. This is around 1.01 .01 centimeter you can change when you are changing in millimeter around 10.1 centimeter around 10.01 centimeters have just like this is when you are using uh, uh, vernal scale this is for the cylindrical shapes if you are have uh, spherical shapes to, uh, you have used just like this is for different data using so for different type of types of data you are taking increasing the number of the observation to decrease the errors you have take at least three or four datas so this is the data taken as just like the first datas so depending on this uh, when we are calculate the volume volume for spherical shapes volume is equal to for spherical shapes you are pi r square l 
pi r square ls r is the radius you can take the diameter from the diameter diameter is equal with radius over 2 depending on this if you are insert here d square over forces so from this expression volumes equal to pi r square ls then volumes equal to pi radius means from this radius radius means radius equal to diameter over 2 radius means so d over 2 the whole square times length so from this volume is equal to pi diameter square l over 4 using this expression you can get the volume from this data we have a mass mass is constant from this expression the density is equal to mass over volume simply you can get the volume the third one is for the spherical shapes for the spherical shapes is the spherical shapes is, for example, if you have just like this material, this for a material just like this spherical shapes, is, you can find only this diameter, this, this diameter using Bernal scale and uh, number of trial, mass, then diameter, diameter, number of trial, one, two, three, this mass, then this diameter using vernal uh, micro caliper micro caliper and vernal caliper let us practice using this then the mass is simply we are measure the mass of this using the electronic balance so this is eight gram so the second step is find its major diameter using micro caliper this is micro caliper to measure it is diameter you are putting between unable and spindle you are putting between this then you are make just like this now you are put just like this let us find this using this now from this the diameter is first you can check the main scale of the micro caliper it is 0 5 10 50 this is the first line it come 51 means 60 this 60 plus this is the main one 60 then from the uh, vernal scale this is from the vernal scale uh, from the circular scale in which line can be overlap here this is 45 this is 46 this is 47 so 47 over 100 this is around 60.47 millimeter so this is around 60 point 47 millimeter or around 1.647 centimeter using vernal caliper using vernal caliper vernal caliper is here you are put here vernal caliper here you are put between these two jaws so from this vernal scale the main scale is is one this is 1.5 this is 0.6 there is come between 0 point, 1.6 and 1.7 then you are take 1.6 from the main scale then you can find the lines that can be overlap with the main scale you can take from this one is very closer with the line that come up from the main scale so this is point we are at here point one one point six one 1.61 centimeter 1.61 centimeter 1.61 centimeter this is the diameter for the uh, using the vernal scale depending on this data you are try more than two and three just like this you are continue take data observation increasing the data observation depending on this you are taking the uh, more observation from trial one two three the mass is constant you are taking masses in the same ways the diameter can be var due to it is vernal scales and uh, due to the uh, circular scale of micro caliper and the vernal caliper this around just like this depending on this we have when we are compare this material in which uh, the number of uh, error can be increased or not so for this uh, the volume volume is calculated volumes equal to for spherical shape 4 over 3 pi r cube volume is half just like this from this we have diameter using um, micro caliper and vernal caliper so radius is equal to diameter over 2 so you are here v is equal to 4 over 3 pi into d over 2 the 
cube. Using this, you can get the volume. Then you have a mass here. Depending on this, density is equal to mass over volume. Density is equal to mass over volume. You are using just like this. You are calculate uh, the density, mass, volume, lengths using different apparatus. That means meter stick. Using this meter sticks. Using this meter stick. Uh, is the apparatus that can be not measured using the meter stick or for, for just like the widths of the spherical shape or cylindrical shape, it's difficult to measure this metal stick. stick. In the presence of this, you are using the micro uh, vernal scale, vernal caliper. You are using vernal caliper in, if the, the materials that can be measured with uh, uh, of cylindrical and the spherical shapes, or you are using the micro calipers. Micro calipers, if measuring for measuring this, you are changing the as you are changing or you are comparing. So by taking the num by increasing number of uh, measurements, we are uh, have just like this data. This is the mass of an object. So we are taking the mass as a constant. But when we are measuring, we are taking three measurements for rulers: 90.7, 90.6, 90.6. This is due to measuring. So when we are measuring, so you are done in groups so due to that. So when you are measuring, some fluctuation must be occurred due to that. This is some decimal changes for all i have just have this when we are measuring make some differences must occur because uh, uh, isolating error is uh, or uncertainty may occur in all measurements or all measurements or anybody have uncertain due to this we have just like this for rectangular block let us proceed for the cylindrical uh, shapes materials so for in cylindrical shapes materials uh, if this data we are taking for rectangular block, how we can using the how we can measure lengths, widths, and heights. Then from this, uh, we are uh, calculate the volume. Volume is equal to widths times height times lengths for the rectangular sh shape. We are using this expression. We are measure. Here we have the masses. Then density is given by mass over volume. We are taking the average mass here. We have the uh, volume here volume means length times width times height we are using different apparatus based on this expression you are taking for uh, ruler in once and you are taking vernal caliper in another expression so this is the formula when you are using the for rectangular block when you are proceed to cylindrical shapes materials for cylindrical shapes material means the material have just like these shapes to have lengths and to have widths so is have lengths and widths so to measure the uh, lengths and the widths we are using uh, uh, lengths for ruler and the vernal caliper for ruler and the vernal caliper the mass the mass of this particle is simply you are putting the masses uh, on uh, beam balances on the beam balances and you are measure the mass of this uh, materials so here we have beam balances here we have beam balances then we are proceed this there So when you are putting the uh, cylindrical shape uh, materials on these plates and you are measure its masses using the beam balances or we are using another material, this is electronic beam balance. This is electronic balances. If you want us to uh, measure, this is analog one, this is digital one. This is displays in numbers in the analog, analog one, but we are measuring uh, the changing by changing this scale, we are measure the amount of this particle. So for this object, let us put here. When you are putting here from this analog, its weight is around 0 0.02 kilograms. That means it is around 20 grams. It is 20 grams. This is electronic balance. This is the uh, triple beam balance. This is analog. This is digital. Digital one. You are use different types of materials when you are measuring based on uh, this arrangement. So we are put here. This is 20 gram. 20 grams. So the second one is lengths by ruler and the vernal caliper. Lengths of this. Lengths means for this for this rectangle, uh, for cylindrical shape, from this to this is this is length, this is width, this width. So to measure this length, first you are using the meter stick, meter stick.
it is actually 3 cm 3 cm it is 3 cm using vernal caliper using vernal caliper you are put between two jaws you are putting between two jaws of vernal caliper you are putting between these two jaws just like this then let us count here this is zero one two three zero is come after three so you are take three points then zero is come between three and three point one so we can say that three point zero then you are find the number that can be overlap the number overlap is actually There are actually around around nine. So from this, uh, zero and three is overlap. Here, you get this. The number of vernal scale zero and uh, three on the vernal uh, the micro uh, the uh, main scale of vernal caliper is overlap. So due to this, it is around three. This is three centimeter. It's equal three centimeter. This length is the diameter using the the diameter of this particle. It can be difficult to measure using this meter stick to measure the diameter of this or the uh, radius of this or diameter of this it can be difficult using the metal stick due to this we are not use metal stick so in the presence of these materials we are used micro caliper you know this micro caliper is separatus just like this this micro caliper this micro caliper this can micro caliper is have the, the part of this is can be unable this part of the uh, micro caliper is called unable this is fixed, doesn't move from this original position. This is known to move. This is unable. This is spindle. This is a movement. This is a movable one. This is the movable one. This, this micro caliper can be measured from 0 to 25 millimeter. The apparatus the, or the object is inserted in between this is until 25 centimeter. The maximum is this. The smallest division of this apparatus can be measured is around 0 0.01 millimeters. As we can say that for meter stick, it's around 0 0.1. For uh, uh, vernal caliper, it is around 0 0.02. For micro caliper, it is around 0 0.01. So, this as just like vernal caliper, this micro caliper have two scale. This is the main scale, 0, 5, 10, then 0, 5, 10, continue until 25, 50. This is the main scale. This is a circular scale. This circular scale, 10, 50, this is fifth scale. This is the circular scale, circular scale, or this is these temples, as we call these temples. This is one is ratchet knob. Ratchet knob. This is ratchet knobs. No this is a part of the uh, micro calipers. So in this part of uh, micro calipers, let us measure the diameter of the cylindrical shape. You are inserted between this. You are inserted between an evil and spindle. Then you can move all these uh, ratchets and the temples just like this. When you are moving, Yes, it's just like this. Now we are inserted between this and just like this. So from these two points of the main and the vernal scale, uh, the uh, circular scale, first you can take the main scale. The main scale means 0, 5, then this is 10. So from this, this is 5 points. This is one, each point is 0 0.2. This is... 0, this is 0 0.2, 0, it's continue just 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and it's continue just like this. So, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, it's 9. The last line that can be shown is 10. So, because of this, you are take 
एक हीर थेन थेन ऑफ मेन स्केल मेन स्केल प्लस थेन ऑफ मेन स्केल जेन यू आर कान थेक द लाइन जैट कान बी ओवरलैप विद द वर्नर स्केल दिस दिस लाइन एंड द लाइन ऑफ द सर्कुलर शेप इन व्हिच लाइन इट कान बी ओवरलैप सो दिस इज 40 दिस इज 41 दिस इज 42 द 42 इज कान बी ओवरलैप विद दिस लाइन सो वी कान टेक दिस 42 डिवाइड बाय 100 मिलीलीटर मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज द मेन वन दिस इज कान बी द वर्नल वन टेन प्लस इफ यू आर डिवाइड 42 डिवाइड बाय दिस दिस अराउंड 0.4 to this is equal with around 10.42 mm this is the uh, uh, diameter the diameter of the uh, cylindrical shape the diameter of cylindrical shape then the diameter using micro caliper is around 10.42 mm or you can change in this centimeter so the second one is using vernal caliper let us use vernal caliper this is vernal caliper you are insert between this you can insert between two jaws this is vernal caliper so we are let us read the uh, vernal caliper here this is 0 this is 0.5670 is come until 1 between 1 and 1.1 so you can take that You can take that is meter, centimeter plus. This is the main one for this. Then let us find the number that can be found is on the vernal end of the main in which can be this overlap. Zero. So from this, uh, this is one zero is come between one point one and point one one point one. So this is one from this number. This overlap under one. So we can take that one plus zero point zero one is equal to one point zero one centimeter. As I think, have just like this. This is around one point zero one. Centimeter. You can change when you are changing in millimeter around ten point one centimeter. Around ten point zero one uh, centimeters. Have just like this is when you are using uh, uh, vernal scale. This is for the cylindrical shapes. If you are have uh, spherical shapes, to, uh, you have used just like this is for different data using. So for different type types of data, you are taking increasing the number of the observation to decrease the errors. You have take at least three or four datas. So this is the data taken as just like the first datas. So depending on this, uh, when we are calculate the volume, volume for spherical shapes, volume is equal to for spherical shapes you are pi r square l. Pi r square l is r is the radius. You can take the diameter from the diameter. Diameter is equal with radius over two. Depending on this, if you are insert here d square over forces. So from this expression, volumes equal to pi r square l is. Then volumes equal to pi radius means from this radius radius means radius equal to diameter over two. Radius means so d over two the whole square times length is. So from this volume is equal to pi diameter square l over four. Using this expression, you can get the volume. From this data, we have a mass. Mass is constant. From this expression, the density is equal to mass over volume. Simply, you can get the volume. The third one is for the spherical shapes. For the spherical shapes, the spherical shapes is, for example, if you have just like this material, this for a material just like this spherical shapes, we can find only this diameter, this, this diameter using vernal square and uh, number of trial mass then diameter diameter number of trial one two three this mass then this diameter using 
vernal micro caliper micro caliper and vernal caliper let us practice using this then the mass is simply we are measure the mass of this using the electronic balances we are put the mass the particle on these plates so the ma the particle here is it is very small due to this, this is the mass is very small it's difficult to uh, identify the mass of this using this let us radical shapes material this is this mass is around 8 gram so this 8 gram so the second step is find its major diameter using micro caliper this is micro caliper to measure it is a diameter you are putting between unable and spindle you are putting between this then you are make just like this now you are put just like this let us find this using this now from this the diameter is first you can check the main scale of the micro caliper it is 0 5 10 50 this is the first line is come 51 means 60 this 60 plus this is the main one 60 then from the uh, vernal scale this is from the vernal scale uh, from the circular scale in which line can be overlap here this is 45 this is 46 this is 47 so 47 over 100 this is around 60.47 millimeter so this is around 60 point 47 millimeter or around 1.647 centimeter using vernal caliper using vernal caliper vernal caliper is here you are put here vernal caliper here you are put between these two jaws So from this vernal scale, the main scale is is one. This is one point five. This is point six. Zero is come between zero point one point six and one point seven. Then you are take one point six from the main scale. Then you can find the lines that can be overlapped with the main scale. You can take from this. One is very closer with the line that come up from the main scale so this is point we are at here point one one point six one one point six one centimeter one point six one centimeter one point six one centimeter this is the diameter for the uh, using the vernal scale depending on this data you are try more than two and three just like this you are continue take data observation increasing the data observation depending on this we are taking the uh, more observation from trial one to three the mass is constant you are taking masses in the same ways the diameter can be varied due to it is vernal scales and uh, due to the uh, circular scale of micro caliper and the vernal caliper this around just like this depending on this we have when we are compare this material in which uh, the number of uh, error can be increased or not so for this uh, the volume volume is calculated volume is equal to for spherical shape 4 over 3 pi r cube volume is half just like this from this we have diameter using um, micro caliper and vernal caliper so radius is equal to diameter over 2 so you are here v is equal to 4 over 3 pi into d over to the cube using this you can get the volume then you have a mass here depending on this density is equal to mass over volume density is equal to mass over volume you are using just like this you are calculate uh, the density mass volume length using different apparatus that means meter stick using this meter sticks using this meter stick uh, is the apparatus that can be not measured using the meter stick or for, for just like the widths of the spherical shape or cylindrical shape it's difficult to measuring this meter stick, stick. in the presence of this you are using the micro uh, when we come to the data analysis parts from the data given let us see one by one from the data that they are recorded 
for the rectangular blocks <coughs> whether we are using meter stick and the burner uh, caliper let us uh, analysis the uh, rectangular block using meter stick this is the mass that we are measure using the beam balances all masses we are taken 182 grams is. the length that we are measuring three times is the first length is around 90.7 the second is also 90.7 centimeters the third one is 90.6 centimeters we are measure three times is. also we are measure the width has just like this this is the height is using the meter stick using the meter stick <coughs> so this is the length, width, and the height for the using metric for rectangular block. Then from this, when you are find the uh, volume for the rectangular block using metric stick, the volume is given by the length times height times width. We are multiplying these three and we are get the volume for rectangular block for this rectangular block using the metric stick. So for this, let us find the individual measurement for the volume based on the measurements we are measure three times we get three volumes v1 v2 v3 v1 means volume one it is length is one 90.7 times width is one 3.2 times uh, height one 5.5 90.7 3.2 55 5.5 centimeter this volume is 346.72 cm cube for the second <coughs> measurement is v2 is 90.7 times 3.3 .3 times 5.5 we get this the third one is v3 measurement 3 volume 3 is 90.6 times 3.2 times 5.5 we get 346.72 cm cube this is the volume <coughs> then the density is given by the mass divided by its volume. We can get uh, three densities because we are, can uh, do three times or three times. Okay, uh, for density, mass divided by volume. The mass is 182 grams. So divided by the first volume, the first volume is 346.72 centimeter cube. So the density is 0.52 gram per centimeter cube. The first density. The second density also mass two divided by density two volume two. It is around 0.51 gram per centimeter cube. The third density is around mass three divided by volume three. It is 0.52 gram per centimeter cube. This is the density then. From this three density, let us find for the uh, average density because we didn't announce the standard value of the density of rectangular block. If we didn't announce the standard value for the measurements, we are going to, to get the percentage of error or to get the standard values. We are goes just like this step. The first step is we can find the mean values. The mean value, the density means the density mean value is equal with the summation from i from 1 to n individual measurement density divided by n this individual measurement means we can measure the density threes three times we can take summation of the density divided by now n is number of measurement we can measure three times we are divided by three this means individual measurement is 0 0.52 plus 0 0.5 1 plus 0 0.52 gram per centimeter cube divided by the number of measurement is 3. So it is mean is around 0 0.5166 gram per centimeter cube. This is the mean for the density of rectangular block using meter stick. The second step is we can find standard division for this uh, density. So the standard division is given by under radical summation from 1 to n individual measurement of density minus mean of density or average density the whole square over n minus 1 where n is the number of measurements or the number of trials in the experiments so using this experiment we are insert the value of individual measurement means density 1 is 0 0.51 density 2 0 0.5 one density three is zero zero point five two mean means density mean is zero point five one six six let us use from this expression we get density is given by this so zero point five one is individual measurement for first density minus this is the mean density the whole square plus the second density minus its mean the whole square plus the third density minus this is mean the whole square over n minus one so Using this step, as the end we get that is 
the result of the standard division of this density is 5.77 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gram per centimeter cube. This is the standard division. So if you are fine, the percentage of error for this measurement is, the percentage of error is given by the standard division of the measurement of the density divided by the mean of the density times 100%. So the standard division for density is 5.77 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gram per centimeter cube divided by by the mean density is when you are changing this around 551.66 times 10 to the power of minus 2 gram per centimeter cube when you are changing this into gram per centimeter cube in the power forms times 100 percent when you are take the percentage from 100 percent so the percentage of error is around 1.11 percentage when we are using the matrices so this is the step to find this when we are unknown the standard value of the density. You are going to use this step for the burner caliper and you are compare the uh, percentage of error that you are getting in the metric stick and the burner caliper. So the second one is when you are using the uh, cylindrical shape materials. For the cylindrical sh shape materials, as you know, so we are takes using the burner caliper and the micro caliper to measure the uh, bobs or cylindrical shape materials. From this, when we are analyzed for the burner calipers using burner caliper, this is the masses, the mass of an object is. This is the lengths the length this is a diameter for the spherical shape or for the cylindrical shapes so this is the length is around 3 3 3.01 this is the individual measurement this we can try three in three times this is the diameter is 1.03 1.05 1.07 this is the individual measurement this when you are varying the vernal caliper so to have some uh, uh, significant digits is changed so from this, when you are find the volume, volume of this cylindrical shape is, the volume of the cylindrical shape is calculated by V is equal to pi R square L is. This R is the radius of the uh, cylindrical shape, L is the length of the materials. So from this, radius means diameter over 2. From this data, we have only diameter to get this radius. Radius is equal to diameter over 2. So for this expression, we can try three times. This. So we can get three volumes volume 1 is equal with pi times in the presence of radius we can put d over 2 the whole square d over 2 the whole square times l from this pi d square l over 4 so using this when you are substitute the value in that can measure in the first trial is 3.14 is the result for pi times d means here we have 1.03 the whole square times when l is the length is 3 divided by 4, we can get 2.425 cm cube. The second measurement is also the same unit. We are using this. We are substituting the value of the diameter and the length, and we can get 2.47 cm cube. The third, we can get 2.52 cm cube. So have the <coughs> same formula and the same step. The difference is the length and the diameter of the uh, measurement. From this, when we are find the density, we are use, when we are we can say that uh, we are using the cylindrical shapes we can use the brass materials this brass materials is, uh, have a standard value of density it is not just like uh, rectangular blocks we know this, this standard value of the brasses is around this if you know that is the standard value of some materials is here for example the brass what you are using or we are using is around 5.4 times 10 to the power of 3 kilogram meter cube or when you are using in gram per centimeter cube it is around 8.4 gram per centimeter cube for this if you are find this density one by one density is equal mass over v1 the mass is 20 grams 20 gram divided by individual measurement volume 1 is 2.425 cm cube. So it is around 8.23 gram per cm cube is the first density. The second trial of for density is mass 2 over V2. 20 gram divided by 2.47, we can get 8.1 gram per cm cube. The third one is around 7.94 gram per cm cube. We can we have three density. So 
for this three density when we are find it is average density or the mean density is individual measurement from the summation of i from 1 to n is individual measurement of density divided by n individual measurement means we have three density density 1 density 2 density 3 so density 1 plus density 2 plus density 3 divided by 3 so we can case the average density is 8.09 gram per centimeter cube now if we know the standard value of the density of the brass what we are using for the cylindrical shapes we are not going to just like the before what we are done for rectangular block we can find the standard division and we can go to percentage of error but if you know the standard value for the uh, given ele elements what you are using materials is, we can find the percentage of relative error relative error means we can make relate with the experimental one with the standard value or the actual one so the percentage of error is given by this absolute value standard value minus experimental value divided by standard value times 100 percent so the standard uh, value of the metal brass is from here we can use 8.4 gram per centimeter cube so this is standard value the experimental value is 8.09 gram per centimeter cube if you are substitute 8.4 uh, gram per centimeter cube standard value minus 8.09 gram per centimeter cube experimental value divided by 8.4 gram per centimeter cube of experimental value times 100 it is around 3.6 percent of errors so this is when you are using vernal caliper so you are going to use uh, uh, micro calipers and you as the end is you can compare the percentage of error relative error in which materials have more precious which materials is more accurate uh, and you can get give some uh, justification why this error is can be occurred is this a systematic error or random error and what is the fluctuation of the material can be occurred as a general you can conclude is which material is best measurement is in which material you can get more accurate and you can conclude in just like this is this is all about this experiment about measurement measurement of mass volume and density so uh, the, thank you with, with the time with us when we come to the data analysis part, from the data given, let us see one by one. From the data that we are recorded for the rectangular blocks, <clears throat> whether we are using meter stick and the burner uh, caliper, let us uh, analyze the uh, rectangular block using meter stick. This is the mass that we are measure using the beam balances. All masses we are taken. 182 grams is the length is that we are measuring three times is the first length is around 90.7 the second is also 90.7 centimeter the third one is 90.6 centimeter we are measure three times is also we are measure the width has just like this this is the height is using the meter stick using the meter stick <coughs> so this is the length width and height for the using meter stick for rectangular block then from this, when you are find the uh, volume for the rectangular block using meter stick, the volume is given by the length times height times width. We are multiplying these three and we are get the volume for rectangular block for this rectangular block using the meter stick. So for this, let us find the individual measurement for the volume based on the measurements we are measure three times we get three volumes v1 v2 v3 v1 means volume one it is length is one 90.7 times width is one 3.2 times uh, height one 5.5 90.7 3.2 55 5.5 centimeter its volume is 346.72 centimeter cube for the second <coughs> measurement is v2 is 90.7 times 3.3 .3 times 5.5 we get this the third one is v3 measurement 3 volume 3 is 90.6 times 3.2 times 5.5 we get 346.72 centimeter cube this is the volume <coughs> then the density is given by the mass divided by this volume we can get uh, three densities because we are, can uh, do three times or three times okay uh, for density mass divided by 
volume the mass is 182 grams so divided by the first volume the first volume is 346.72 cm cube so the density is 0.52 gram per cm cube the first density the second density also mass 2 divided by density 2 volume 2 it is around 0.51 gram per cm cube the third density is around mass 3 divided by volume 3 it is 0.52 gram per cm cube this is the density then from this three density let us find for the uh, average density because we didn't announce the standard value of the density of rectangular block if we didn't announce the standard value for the measurements we are going to to get the percentage of error or to get the standard values we are goes just like this step the first step is we can find the mean values the mean value the density means the density mean value is equal with the summation from i from 1 to n individual measurement density divided by n this individual measurement means we can measure the density series three times we can take summation of the density divided by now n is number of measurement we can measure three times we are divided by three this means individual measurement is 0 0.52 plus 0 0.5 1 plus 0 0.52 gram per centimeter cube divided by the number of measurement is 3. So its mean is around 0 0.5166 gram per centimeter cube. This is the mean for the density of rectangular block using meter stick. The second step is we can find standard division for this uh, density. So the standard division is given by under radical summation from 1 to n individual measurement of density minus mean of density or average density the whole square over n minus 1 where n is the number of measurements or the number of trials in the experiments so using this experiment we are insert the value of individual measurement means density 1 is 0 0.51 density 2 0 0.5 1 density 3 is 0, 0 0.52 mean means density mean is 0 0.5166 let us use from this expression we get density is given by this so 0 0.51 is individual measurement for first density minus this is the mean density the whole square plus the second density minus its mean the whole square plus the third density minus this is mean the whole square over n minus 1 so Using this step, as the end we get that is the result of the standard division of this density is 5.77 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gram per centimeter cube. This is the standard division. So if you are find the percentage of error for this measurement is, the percentage of error is given by the standard division of the measurement of the density divided by the mean of the density times 100 percent. So the standard division for density is 5.77 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gram per centimeter cube divided by the mean density is when you are changing this around 5. 51.66 times 10 to the power of minus 2 gram per centimeter cube when you are changing this into gram per centimeter cube in the power forms times 100 percent when you are take the percentage from 100 percent so the percentage of error is around 1.11 1 percentage when we are using the meter sticks so this is the step to find this when we are unknown the standard value of the density you are going to use this step for the burner caliper and you are compare the uh, percentage of error that you are getting in the meter stick and the burner caliper so the second one is when you are using the uh, cylindrical shape materials for the cylindrical sh shape materials as you know so we are takes using the banal caliper and the micro caliper to measure the uh, bobs or cylindrical shape materials from this when we are analyzed for the banal calipers using banal caliper this is the masses the mass of an object is this is the length the length this is a diameter for the spherical shape or for the cylindrical shapes so this is the length is around 3 3 3.01 this is the individual measurement we can try three in three times this is the diameter is 1.03 1.05 1.07 this is the individual measurement when you are varying the vernal caliper so to have some uh, uh, significant digits is changed so from this when you are find the volume volume of this cylindrical shape is the volume of the cylindrical shape is calculated by v is equal to pi r square ls this r is the radius of 
the uh, cylindrical shape and is the length of the materials. So from this, radius means diameter over 2. From this data, we have only diameter. To get this is radius, radius is equal to diameter over 2. So for this expression, we can try 3 times. This. So we can get 3 volumes. Volume 1 is equal with pi times. In the presence of radius, we can put d over 2, the whole square d over 2, the whole square times l. From this, pi d square l over 4. So using this, when you are substituting the value in that can measure in the first trial is 3.14 is the result for pi times d means here we have 1.03 the whole square times when l is the length is 3 divided by 4 we can get 2.425 centimeter cube. The second measurement is also the same unit. We are using this. We are substituting the value of the diameter and the length, and we can get 2.47 centimeter cube. The third, we can get 2.52 centimeter cube. So have the <coughs> same formula and the same step. The difference is the length and the diameter of the uh, measurements. From this, when we are find the density. We are use, when we, are, we can say that uh, we are using the cylindrical shapes, we can use the brass materials. This brass materials uh, have a standard value of density. It is not just like uh, rectangular blocks. We know this, this standard value of the brasses is around this. If you know that is the standard value of some materials is here, for example, the brass what we are using or we are using is around 5.4 times 10 to the power of 3 kilogram meter cube or when we are using in gram per centimeter cube, it is around 8.4 gram per centimeter cube. For this, if you are finding this density one by one, density is equal to mass over V1. The mass is 20 grams. 20 gram divided by individual measurement volume one is 2.425 centimeter cube. So this is around 8.23 gram per centimeter cube is the first density. The second trial of for density is mass two over V2, 20 gram divided by 2.47, we can get 8.1 gram per centimeter cube. The third one is around 7.94 gram per centimeter cube. We can we have three density. So for this three density, when we are find it is average density or the mean density is individual measurement from the summation of i from 1 to n is individual measurement of density divided by n. Individual measurement means we have three density, density 1, density 2, density 3. So density 1 plus density 2 plus density 3 divided by 3. So we can case the average density is 8.09 gram per centimeter cube. Now, if we know the standard value of the density of the brass what we are using for the cylindrical shapes, we are not going to just like the before what we are done for rectangular block we can find the standard division and we can go to percentage of error but if you know the standard value for the given elements what you are using materials we can find the percentage of relative error relative error means we can make relate with the experimental one with the standard value or the actual one so the percentage of error is given by this absolute value standard value minus experimental value divided by standard value times 100 percent so the standard uh, value of the metal brass is from here we can use 8.4 gram per centimeter cube. So this is standard value. The experimental value is 8.09 gram per centimeter cube. If you are substitute 8.4 uh, gram per centimeter cube standard value minus 8.09 gram per centimeter cube experimental value divided by 8.4 gram per centimeter cube of experimental value times 100. It is around 3.6 percent of Errors. So this is when we are using vernal caliper. So you are going to use uh, uh, micro calipers and you, at the end you can compare the percentage of error, relative error, in which materials have more precious, which materials is more ac accurate. Uh, and you can get, give some uh, justification why this error is can be occurred. Is this a systematic error or random error? And what is the fluctuation of the material can be occurred? As a general, you can conclude which material is best measurement, in which material you can get more accurate, and you can conclude in just like this. Is, this is all about this experiment about measurement of mass, volume, and density. So uh, thank you with the time with us.